The following tutorial is brought to you by WholeLoops.com. It's production time. I'm Reed Stefan, realist puppet in the game. Today, I'm bringing you my top five most disrespectful plugins that I'll be using in 2019. Starting out with my first plugin, something that I think is truly groundbreaking, Isotope RX7. Now there's two ways that I like to use this, and the first way isn't that groundbreaking. I just happen to think this is one of the best new DSers to have come out recently. I'm still with the ones I came with. You can't touch the crew I hang with. Yeah, they can't even speak my language. Got, got a lot of bread stacky sandwich. The next way I absolutely love using RX7 isn't even here within the DAW. I use the standalone version and I made a bounce of my song Stacky Sandwich. I'm just using this song as an example, but usually I use this on other people's songs. And the reason I use this on other people's songs is because of this tool here called Music Rebalance. And you just click on it and you now have the ability to solo just the voice and turn down all the other instruments in the music. I'm still with the ones I came with. You can't touch the crew I hang with. They can't even speak my language. Got, got a lot of bread stacky sandwich. Let's try doing just the beat and no voice. The fact that we were able to extract the vocals pretty well and extract the music without the vocals pretty well is absolutely groundbreaking and disrespectful to the laws of physics, which is why Isotope RX is my first most disrespectful plugin of 2019. Moving back into the DAW, my second most disrespectful plugin of 2019 is a compressor that hasn't left my vocal chain since I tried it out, and that's El Rey by Acoustica Audio. And the way that I use this primarily is as a vocal compressor, so I'm going to drop it after my de-esser before my effects, and we're going to use this plug in two different ways. The first way is just to do some mild compression. I'm still with the ones I came with. You can't touch the crew I hang with. Yeah, they can't even speak my language. Got, got a lot of bread stacky sandwich. I'm still with the ones I came with. You can't touch the crew I hang with. Yeah, they can't even speak my language. Got, got a and one of the things that makes this compressor so unique is the filter knob where you can engage a high pass filter to give your compression a brighter color. I'm still with the ones I came with. You can't touch the crew I hang with. And without yeah, it, they can't even speak my language. Got, got a lot of bread stacky sandwich. Yeah, I'm still with the ones I came with. You can't touch the crew I hang with. Yeah, they can't even speak my language. Got, got a lot of bread stacky sandwich. Turn the threshold up a little I'm bit. I'm still with the ones I came with. You can't touch the crew I hang with. Yeah, they can't even speak my language. Got now that's sounding a lot better. And the second way we're going to disrespect this vocal using El Ray is just by duplicating it with Command D, hitting Command G on the duplicate, and creating a dry chain underneath it. So we now have a parallel compressor and that's this El Ray right here and we're going to do something way more disrespectful with this. I'm still Let's turn the gain down. I'm still with the ones I came with. You can't touch the crew I hang with. Yeah, they can't even speak my language. Got got a lot of bread stacky sandwich. And the way the transients just get crispy cut through the mix is exactly what I want in a parallel compressor and El Ray gives it to me every single time. I'm still with the ones I came with. You can't touch the crew I hang with. Yeah, they can't even speak my language. Got, got a lot of bread stacky sandwich. Yeah, I'm still with the ones I came with. You can't touch the crew I hang with. Yeah, they can't even 
even speak my language Got, got a lot of bread, stacky sandwich yeah, I'm still with the ones I came with You can't touch the crew I hang with Yeah, they can't and this vocal chain is sounding a lot better, so I'm going to copy this down onto the verse after the de -esser, before the effects, and let's give this a listen. Realest puppet in the game, and I think I'm in my zone, zone. And I got a stack of sandwich like I'm on a picnic, go, oh, oh. I'm with the same crew, and that just ain't you. These puppets ain't true, but I still thank you. Another day, ooh. And I can make do, but I would hate to. Yeah, yeah. So I'm still. And that's why Acoustica Audio's El Ray is my number two most disrespectful plugin of 2019. Moving on to something that I wouldn't necessarily have expected to be a disrespectful plugin, but the way this EQ really allows you to shape and control anything you put on it without sounding harsh earned it its number three spot on my most disrespectful plugins of 2019. And this isn't even a VST plugin, in fact it's just the stock channel EQ that comes with the latest Ableton update. I'm still with the ones I came with, you can't touch the crew I hang with. They can't even speak my language Got, got a lot of bread, stacky sandwich yeah. Realest puppet in the game And I think I'm in my zone Without it. Zone And I got a stack of sandwich Like I'm on a picnic, go oh. I'm with the same crew And that just ain't you These puppets ain't true We can also try this down here On our master as well Let's take the one off the drums group And see what this same curve does to the master and I'm going to drop it before Waves Master Sauce. Realest puppet in the game, and I think I'm in my zone. Zone. And I got a stack of sandwich like I'm on a picnic. Go. Oh. I'm with the same crew, and that just ain't you. These puppets ain't true, but I still thank you. Another day, ooh. 100k, ooh. And Considering how hard it is to make channel EQ sound bad on any of the layers of your song that you put it on, definitely earns it the number three spot in my most disrespectful plugins of 2019. Do you suffer from weak mastering? Do your mixes sound like they belong in the trash bin playlist? Maybe you're just missing the sauce. Introducing Waves Master Sauce, our most powerful sauce preset ever. Finish your music today with Waves Master Sauce, only at Holoops.com. Moving on to number four, something a little bit more unique of a sound design tool than just an EQ. I'm talking about the OTO Biscuit Filter and Distortion. Now this plugin has been around for a long time as a UAD plugin, but just a couple months ago, SoftTube has released it for significantly cheaper and you don't need any expensive external hardware plugged in your computer like you do for the UAD one. And this plugin is another really cool thing to drop on your music. I'm gonna make a group, this is our beat. And I really use the top half of this plugin way more than I use the bottom half. I find the bottom to be so disrespectful that it's hard to use in a musical context, but what's up here is absolute magic. And along the top row, we have a drive knob for some disrespect. Naked and dressed are just fancy words for wet and dry. And I love how they give you two separate knobs for wet and dry. I would take this over a mix knob every day of the week. So I'm gonna take the dry signal, turn it all the way down, take the wet signal, turn it all the way up. And let's give our beat a listen. I'm still with the one. As you can see with the green light engaged, that gives us a low pass filter. So we can cut all the highs out and it doesn't just EQ it like a filter. It's also doing some really cool bit reducing action, which gives you the most unique filter sweeps I've ever heard. I'm still with the ones I came with. You can't touch the crew I hang with. Yeah, they can't even speak my language. Got, got a lot of bread, stacky sandwich. Yeah. Realest puppet in the game and I think I'm in my zone. zone. And I got a stack of sandwich like I'm on a picnic, go, oh, oh I'm with the same crew, 
And then when you get the filter open, it gives you this really cool sizzly digital crackle that is not harsh. And the magic knob right here is actually clock. And I'm gonna turn this and show you what this is doing. I'm still with the ones I came with. You can't touch the crew I hang with. They can't even speak my language. Got, got a lot of bread, stacky sandwich. If that's not the most disrespectful knob you have ever heard, I don't know what is. Let's try and tone the effect back a little bit and use it a little bit more musically. Let's go under this part and make a loop. Realist puppet in the game and I think I'm in my zone, zone. And I got a stack of sandwich like I'm on a picnic, go. oh. I'm with the same crew and that just ain't you. These puppets ain't true, but I still thank you. Another day, ooh, 100K, ooh. And I can make do, but I would hate to. Yeah. So as you can see, just the top filter and distortion controls alone give you some really incredible effects. If you want to hear what some of these buttons do, I'll press them. Realist puppet in the game and I think I'm in my zone. zone. And Too disrespectful in my opinion, but if you guys were curious, then there's some other different shapes down here, delays, pitch adjustments, all kinds of things to freak the wet signal. The OTO Biscuit is definitely earned its spot as the number two most disrespectful plugin of 2019. Moving on to number one, and it came out just a couple months ago before the new year started, I'm talking about the black box from Plugin Alliance. The most important way that I use it is as a mastering plugin, and it does a great job at taking the load off of your master limiter. Because a lot of times limiters don't sound that great when you use them aggressively. This allows you to get some aggressive vibes, but without having to attack your limiter. I'm still with the ones I came with. You can't touch the crew I hang with. Yeah, they can't even speak my language. Got, got a lot of bread, stacky sandwich. Yeah. Realist puppet in the game and I think I'm in my zone, zone. This is also one of the few plugins that I really enjoy using the mix knob on. I'm still with the ones I came with. You can't touch the crew I hang with. Yeah, they can't even speak my language. Got, got a lot of bread, stacky sandwich. And just to show you how this plugin can really take the load off your limiter, I'm gonna bypass Waves Master Sauce and just drop a plain old L2, which is the final limiter that's going on here with the dynamics knob in the Waves Master Sauce. And let's just take a look at the limiter itself. I'm still with the ones I came with. You can't touch the crew I hang with. They can't even you can see even at really distorted, overdriven, too loud sounding levels, the limiter still is not getting attacked. And this is not completely a clipper. Some peaks and red lights will still get through, so you're gonna need to put a limiter after it. But what this is doing is probably the most important final tone shaping you could add to any group or sound in your mix. Let's turn the mix down just a little bit more, which will give us some room to apply this plug into a few more stops in our mix before it even hits the master. Let's go up to our acapella and see how the black box can bring out some body in the hook and verses. I'm still with the ones I came with. You can't touch the crew I hang with. Yeah, they can't even speak my language. Got, got a lot of bread, stacky sandwich. Yeah. Realist puppet in the game and I think I'm in my zone, zone. And I got a stack of sandwich like I'm on a picnic, go. Ain't you, these puppets ain't true, but I still thank you. Another day, ooh, a hundred K, ooh, and I can make do, but I would hate to. Yeah, I'm still. And as you can see, that vocal is sizzling now. And the next place that I want to add the black box to is on the drums. Let's put a black box on here. Take a look at the clipping here on the input and the output when the drums are playing. And without it. Sandwich like I'm on a picnic, oh. 
So as you can see, this thing is nothing but an absolute candy store of distortion to disrespect your mixes with, which is why it is number one, my most disrespectful plugin of 2019. If you guys wanna see more about any of the plugins in this video, I'll put links to all of them in the description. I hope you guys found some great ways to improve your workflow and I'll catch you next time with another tutorial. Peace out.